Each week, American Artifacts takes viewers into archives, museums, and historic sites around the country. Now a portion of our visit to the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum facility near Washington's Dulles Airport. We'll see the museum's newest prized possession, the Space Shuttle Discovery. Well, this is Space Shuttle Discovery, uh, one of the museum's pride and joy. Uh, it certainly is a part of our core collection uh, that begins really with the Wright Flyer of 1903. And the amazing thing is that um, in less than 100 years after the Wrights first took flight, we had a spacecraft this large and this elaborate flying routinely in space. And uh, the point of the space shuttle was to make space flight routine, to uh, make it operate, to make a spacecraft that could operate almost like an airliner uh, with repeated launches and landings. Uh, the space shuttle didn't splash down in the ocean. It had wings and wheels. It could glide back to a landing on a runway, go back into the servicing bay, be uh, cleaned up, refreshed, serviced, and go to space again um, a few weeks later, or certainly a, a couple of months later. Uh, Discovery was the champion of the space shuttle fleet. It flew for 30 years almost, and it had 39 missions. It flew every kind of mission the space shuttle was meant to fly. And I'll show you what kinds of missions did fly in the shuttle, and you can see that by the way it's built. So let's walk along here and just notice the length. This spacecraft is 122 feet long. It is uh, 57 feet high, and it has a wingspan of 78 feet. It is comparable to an aircraft. Nothing like this has ever flown in space before and it's quite possible nothing like this will ever fly in space again. Uh, one of its most distinctive features is that it's covered with these black tiles and white blankets, and that's its thermal protection system to shield it during the heat of re-entry. Uh, temperatures can increase up to about 3,000 degrees on the spacecraft, which is basically made of aluminum and melts at a much, much lower temperature. So it had to be encased in what looks like bathroom tiles, but they're actually very high-tech, lightweight, heat-dissipating tiles. Each one unique with its own serial number, each one shaped in um, external size and shape and also thickness for the exact position on the orbiter. Uh, where it is. And uh, there are about 22,000 of these tiles on Discovery, and about 17,000 of them are still original tiles. They flew into space again and again and survived that heat of reentry uh, through 39 missions. The darker tiles represent newer ones uh, that were replaced. And all these little white streaks that you see on the tiles show. Uh, the angle of attack during re-entry. You can see exactly how heat was flowing across the vehicle. Uh, the shuttle came back into the atmosphere, belly up, nose high, and you can see how all that heat is flowing across the curved surface uh, of the space shuttle. Uh, you can see the life of discovery right here on the tiles and can tell this is a spacecraft that's been to space and back repeatedly. Watch American Artifacts every Sunday here on C-SPAN 3's American History TV. To see this and similar programs, visit our website, cspan.org history.